Hello, good afternoon and welcome ladles and jelly spoons. Now it is Friday, it's five o'clock, it's, oh no it's not, it's uh, actually an, unbo an unboxing of something I've wanted to look at for some time. Now as we can mm, see, already, as we can see this is a Gibson product. But it's not a guitar, no, no. If it's a guitar, it would be very tiny. And also, I think it says somewhere else here. Uh, oh yes, there it is. It also says here, made in China. So, uh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Well, of course, as the title indicates, we have a studio monitor and I want you to see this thing come out now. It's called the LP4 and LP of course is Les Paul, Les Paul, not Les Paul, Les Paul, Les, uh, which of course is short for Lester and uh, it's a studio monitor and I could not find a single review or unboxing or anything about the four inch version, about the four inch version of this. Uh, they come in three sizes, they come in four inches, six inches and eight inches. And those sizes refer to the, um, what do they refer to? Oh yes, they refer to the size of the speaker or as they're called these days, the woofer. So, uh, upon, thank you, Carl. Look at the, look at, come on, let's get, let's get, let me have a proper look at this. The first thing that you see when you open this, isn't that pleasing? That is lovely. So, let's uh, take him out, if we possibly can. Uh, yes, so I couldn't find any reviews on these. So once we've had a look at it, I will keep you updated and posted on uh, whether they're any, whether they're any good or not. For any of you who do recording, I suppose that a great many of you do. Um, it will be lovely to find out what these genuine Gibson reference monitors sound like, and quite honestly. I, I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait, I'm excited. So, okay, so the first thing that we see, opening up the box is the manuel for it. Got some decent packing there, which is always a reassuring sight. And ho, 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 ho. And it comes in its own little rucksack. All right. So, let's have a look. Oh, get, get that, eh? Yeah. Get that. That is... The attention to detail is... Hello, here it comes. There you go. Wow. Now that is a genuine maple flamed top with a little tweeter. Now the tweeter is the same one that goes in all iterations of this uh, line of studio monitors. And um, it, so whether you buy the four, the six or the eight, of course, I've only got a small space to put it in, so I went for four inches. I note that uh, Mr. Trodley has eight inches. Um, so, but you, but I can't find it. I can't find a review. I might have said that ten times or so, but I do tend to keep repeating myself these days. And uh, I love this thing, and um, I also tend to keep um, repeating myself these days. So, let so let's have it. Hello. So, if you want an idea of size, there it is, next to my head. 
So that's what you get if you buy the four inch one. Now these, these things, if you have a look at the back there, you will see the Les Paul hologram. Okay, uh, you, you, you can see, I don't need to explain to you what the uh, various bits and bobs on the back do because I know that you can read and I know that you know how to plug a wire into a hole. So, um, that is kind of that, but not really. Because, there it is in Tobacco Burst, and luckily I have here, conveniently, it, oh look, oh look, 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 can't you just see that they come from absolutely the same family? So, I, I'm so, I am absolutely thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with these. I've seen them um, here and there uh, from time to time, but this is the first time I've actually had one in my mitts. And uh, I will, as I say, keep you posted about uh, progress with, uh, the, you know, how they sound, what the response is like, and uh, how clear the uh, report back is from them. And uh, I, really, I've got a little bit of a lazy uh, weekend coming on in terms of uh, doing all of these, uh, because hopefully tomorrow we shall have two further unboxings I've got two brand new Gibsons, a uh, Junior and a Tribute, uh, both double cuts uh, coming up. Uh, that, that hopefully they will be delivered uh, tomorrow by DPD uh, that came from, I can't remember which shop they came from. Anyway, so we'll unbox those and have a listen to them as they've actually come from the factory and we'll see what the fit and finish and setup is like. So that should be uh, an awful lot of fun. And also, of course, this probably won't go on for a, probably a week or so, but this is the 70s Tribute. Uh, this is a 2013 model, and it comes with the uh, Robo Tuners, and you'll have seen those other two 2015 Gibsons that I did. Well, you may or may not have done, but they're on here somewhere anyway. Um, the 2015 models came with the G-Force tuners uh, that, that look identical to these. Um, however, the operation is slightly different. So if you've been puzzled about how uh, the difference between the G-Force and the Mini E-Tune, because they look identical, then uh, I shall show you exactly how to uh, use their functions uh, when I put the review of this 70s tribute on. And let me tell you, this is equipped with dirty fingers uh, pickups, and we'll talk a little bit about those when, <clears throat> obviously, when the review comes. And that, my dear friends, is it for today. So if that, so if those two Les Pauls do come tomorrow, then I will do an unboxing and, a, and we'll, we'll just have a very, very quick comparison and a quick listen to them, just to see what the brand new things are like from the factory. Because they're, 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 not, they're not horribly expensive, I mean, they're not cheap. Uh, and I might even do a little segment about why Gibsons aren't inexpensive. And there is a very good reason for it. Okay, folks, so thank you all ever so much for tuning in. I know it's only a quickie, but that's me. I'm in and out like a flash. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. And adios, amigos. ta -ra. Now, I realise that this is poor form because I've all, already said goodbye, but literally, as I got to my computer to plug the SD card in to upload the video, I've just 
this minute received an email from DPD telling me that the guitars, either, well actually it says guitar, but I assume it will be both guitars, will be delivered on Monday. So Monday we should have the unboxing. The other thing I do want to mention very, very briefly is that these came from, I did some research to find, obviously, I don't want to pay more than I have to, and these came from Music Matter in Preston, and they are the cheapest in the country. As it turns out, of course, I live in sunny Blackpool, which is just down the road from Preston. So I hopped in the car this morning and collected them. So yes, Music Matter sell absolutely the least expensive ones of these that you can buy. So that is, yes, so adios, 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 amigos. See you later. Tchau.